Hi, my name's Andy Dorschek. I'm the editor of Drum and Traps magazines, and I'm going to demonstrate the Texas Shuffle for you today. Uh, it's perhaps the most common shuffle rhythm that you're ever going to need to play. Um, if you've ever heard a Stevie Ray Vaughan song, then the chances are very good that you have heard this rhythm played. Uh, it definitely comes in handy if you play in a cover band or if you plan to play in a band that plays in biker bars and places like that. Um, why don't we get started by showing you the basic rhythm and then we'll break it down piece by piece. Here we go. basic beat. Now let's break it down piece by piece, starting with the bass drum. It's really the anchor of the uh, uh, Texas shuffle, and really of most shuffle rhythms. Uh, it couldn't be simpler. It's really just four beats on the kick drum. Here we go. Okay, now that you've uh, gotten the four on the floor uh, pattern down on the bass drum, Let's just add the hi-hat on two and four. Here's what that sounds like. Okay, let's move on from there. That was pretty simple, right? Here's where it gets a little tricky. You want to play a shuffle pattern with your right hand. We're doing it on the right cymbal right now. You can also do it on the hi-hat. Um, here's what that looks like. Okay, here's where it gets a little bit tricky. We're going to add the left hand. And this is what throws a lot of drummers off, particularly drummers who are used to playing rock. Um, many drummers, including a lot of jazz drummers actually, are used to playing backbeats with their left hand while their right hand moves all over the place. But with a Texas shuffle and with many other shuffles that we're going to look at, the left hand mimics what the right hand's doing with one little twist. It adds, it accents the back beats. Here's what it looks like. Okay. Um, a very important consideration when you're talking about playing shuffles is feel. Um, if you're like me, I was a rock drummer originally, you started out by playing rhythms that were very straight feeling 4-4 four, four time, like But, if you're going to play a shuffle, really any type of shuffle, including the Texas shuffle, you have to swing it. And uh, that's a lot more subtle feel than straight 4-4. Four, four. It involves a looseness that, uh, that is an acquired uh, technique, just like any other technique, playing rudiments or double bass. So I'm going to play the Texas shuffle rhythm with a kind of tight feel and then with a much looser swinging feel. So here's a, here's a tight feeling shuffle. Okay, that didn't feel very good, did it? I mean, it felt not at all like a Stevie Ray Vaughan song. Um, here's that same beat played swinging. Here we go. So there you go. That's our look at playing a Texas shuffle. Be sure to come back to DrumMagazine.com. We're going to take a look at quite a few other types of shuffles, too. Thanks.